Noelle Foley here at Ringside Fest with Roman Reigns. So, first of all, how are you doing? I'm doing a lot better. It's uh, it's good to get off the couch and walk around a little bit and move around. So, uh, it's good to be in New York. Perfect. And how are you enjoying Ringside Fest? This was awesome. Um, anytime we get an opportunity to come out and see the fans, um, just to see little kids' faces light up, you know, the women get excited, the dudes are happy. So it's a, it was a good energy here. It was, it was yeah. fun. I was just about to ask you, how do you handle women around the world like drooling over you and like screaming and fainting just like at the flip of your hair? It, it's, I mean, it's a lot of responsibility. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> there, there's nothing worse when you see a woman cry. So. <laughs> I, I but in insist, a good way. And, in a good way, but even in a good way, it still feels bad. Yeah. So please, women, stop crying. <laughs> please, women around the world. <laughs> so how do you like the New York City fans? Are they different from the rest of the cities you visit? Um, I, I think we have the most unique fan base in, in the whole world. The WWE Universe, uh, they're so opinionated. Um, they vary from region to region, but up here in New York, the Brooklyn crowd, when we go into Barclays Center, it's unbelievable. Um, I imagine, you know, every time we've wrestled there, you just hear multiple chants, um, and I imagine it's just going to continue. Yeah, I'm really excited for Brooklyn. Oh, it's, it's, it's on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, being that The Rock is your cousin, have you learned anything very, very important from him that you think about or use today? Um, yeah, take care of your hair so you don't have to start shaving your head. I don't think you ever have to worry about that. I certainly hope not. I don't, I don't know what I'd do if I lost his hair. I think you and my dad have like the same genetics when it comes to good hair. That's good company there, yeah. I, I'm trying to keep it all the way through. No bald spots here. Please. Please. And Lastly, I just wanted to know, like, what was it like, what was going through your mind when you debuted at Survivor Series in 2012? Don't screw this up. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I mean, I had so many emotions going. You know, I mean, when you go through developmental, um, you're working with guys like Dean and Seth. Um, you know, it was really exciting. Um, a bit of a good nervous energy, but it was just get through it, make it happen, and just continue to move. I mean, because this is there's no off season in, in wrestling or in uh, sports entertainment, so you just want to get that momentum like we did and just keep it rolling. Well, it's definitely working. Well, thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon.